Hello and welcome to the 8th House Siren Astrology YouTube channel. I'm Siren. If you're new here, I'm an astrologer. I do readings. The link to book with me is on all of my social medias. That includes Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. We typically do weekly astrology forecasts on this channel, but this week I am switching it up because I want to talk about this Mars and Gemini transit. This long Mars and Gemini transit. It is unusual for Mars to stay in a sign for as long as it will be in Gemini. It will be in Gemini until March of 2023. So I want to talk about what this means for everyone based off of your rising signs. So we're going to go through each rising sign and I'm going to let you know my prediction on what this Mars and Gemini transit means for you. If you do not know your rising sign, you can go to astro.com. You put in your birth info. You're going to need your birth time, birth date, and birth location. So you can just put that information into astro.com. And that is how you can figure out your rising sign. So let's get started with, we'll call it the Mars and Gemini forecasts. So to reiterate, Mars will be in Gemini. It's already in Gemini um, and it will be there until March 25th, 2023. So first let's start off with what this means for Aries rising. So for Aries risings, this Mars and Gemini transit will be happening in your third house. The third house deals with transportation, communication, and our neighborhood. It also deals with our siblings. So first word of advice, please be extra, 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 extra careful driving during this transit. You will be feeling this energy more than anyone when it comes to being on the road. Aries Risings, be very careful about speeding during this time period. You are more likely to be caught for speeding tickets. Watch what you say during this time. Watch what you post during this time because your words are more likely to sting. As far as neighborhoods go, um, you might be going through some construction in your neighborhood or loud noises or things like that. Be very aware of your surroundings um, because Mars also pertains to theft. Um, and then siblings, you might be experiencing tension with siblings during this time period. Since you are aware of this energy, try to be the sibling that keeps the peace, that takes the high road. Now, you are Aries rising, so I'm not really sure if you guys are aware that there is a high road, but there is, there's a, one exists. Taurus risings, this Mars and Gemini transit will be going through your second house. The second house deals with money and possessions. So since it is a Mars transit and Mars moves quickly, be careful with your spending. You're more likely to make impulsive purchases during this time. Wherever Gemini is in your chart, that is where we have the most opportunity to have more than one of something. So with Gemini being in your second house, you know, you're more likely to have a side hustle or just more than one way of making money. So this could be a time period where you put more energy into that. Okay, Gemini rising. So this Mars and Gemini transit will be going through your first house of self. You are going to experience a huge burst of energy. You probably are already experiencing this huge burst of energy. You are also very accident prone during this time. So you need to be intentional about paying attention to what you're doing. Resist the urge to jump into projects or um, building things or things like that without reading the instructions because that could be the difference between you being successful at what you're doing or you making a big mistake that could potentially harm you. Cancer Risings. This Mars and Gemini transit will be happening in your 12th house. So for you, it'll be the opposite uh, of Gemini Risings where you might feel like you are depleted of energy. For you, it's going to feel like dropping this planet with all this fiery energy into some water. The 12th house uh, represents things that are hidden. Um, typically when we go through transits or 12th house transits, things kind of slow down for us um, because we simply just don't have the energy to do what we normally do. So cancer risings during this period have a lot of patience with yourself. I do think that something that you once were putting a lot of energy into will come to completion or will come to an end. So either you'll complete it during this time period or you'll realize that, you know, maybe you shouldn't have been putting so much time and energy into it and, and you kind of phase it out. Leo rising, this Mars and Gemini transit will be happening in your 11th house. The 11th house deals with friends, groups, social media, things that we are a part of, part of a bigger picture. 
Um, so one, you might be experiencing uh, surprise friendships. You might be meeting people you didn't think you were going to meet. Um, Mars is a quick planet. Um, so these relationships might not be long lasting, but they'll be fun. Uh, and each relationship is an opportunity to learn more about yourself. Um, be careful with, uh, you know, arguing with people on social media, letting people get the best of you on social media. Mars is a planet that causes agitation. Don't let people get the better of you because at the end of the day, if y'all are arguing on your platform, then <laughs> people are going to be looking at what you are saying with a magnifying glass more than the other person, if that makes sense. There might also be some sort of tension or argument um, amongst your friend groups or amongst you and a friend during this time, Leo Risings. So just practice thinking to yourself, is this worth, like, is this worth the fight? Um, I think Leo Risings just have to think about this anyway because Leo Risings has a tendency to be extra passionate about everything. Um, but you have to learn to choose your battles. Virgo Risings, this Mars and Gemini transit will be happening in your 10th house. The 10th house deals with career and public image. So this could end up being a fast paced time for you career wise maybe you have an influx of interviews that you will be going on if you know looking for a new job is what you're trying to do right now virgo risings who have a career in writing publishing um anything pertaining to communication i know that this is going to be a fast paced a time period for you you might be getting more requests than usual um, the, the workload might pick up don't cut corners on the editing and review process during this time. You're a Virgo rising, so I don't think you are inclined to do that. But because things are gonna be so fast paced, you might feel like you are cornered and that since everything has to move more quickly, you know, you might skip some parts of the editing and approval process. Don't do that because this time period, you are more susceptible to releasing something with mistakes. Super risings, this transit, this Mars and Gemini transit will be happening in your ninth house. The ninth house pertains to higher education and our belief system. Unless you are already, you are already enrolled in um, like a, a educational program, certification program, whatever, college, whatever, unless you are already enrolled, this Mars and Gemini transit is not the time to start a class or make a decision on enrolling in a class because uh, it is more likely to be impulsive, right? You're more likely to, you know, find the class appealing, right? And just kind of jump into it. And then once you're in it, you're like, oh, I don't, I don't really like this. This is not what I want to do. Scorpio Risings, this Mars and Gemini transit will be going through your eighth house. That is the house of transformation, sex, rebirth, inheritances, money that you get from other people. There's a lot going on in the eighth house. So with the Mars transit there in Gemini, and I um, one be extra diligent about your sexual health during this time everyone should be doing that anyway but you especially make sure you're using protection if you have a partner or if you um, are in a household with someone where both of you are combining finances or splitting bills or what what have you uh, there might be a situation where um, they have a shift a financial shift that uh, affects their ability to contribute. Um, it shouldn't be long-term because things that are brought on by Mars generally are not long-term. They're just kind of like hiccups that you have to work through and, and then they're over with versus like if you're going through like a Saturn or, or Pluto transit. You are looking into therapy or you, you're in the process of looking for a therapist. I think now is a good, um, you're working with good energy to do that. Um, Gemini in the eighth house is already great for research and things like that. But with Mars there, it kind of gives you the energy to take it seriously. And like, once you find someone actually like, you know, signing up for the therapy instead of just kind of thinking about it. Okay. Sagittarius rising. So this Mars and Gemini transit will be going through your seventh house of partnerships and relationships. Now when I say partnerships, that could mean business partnerships or romantic partnerships. Well, I guess we'll first we'll talk about romantic partnerships. Mars brings tension. So you might be experiencing more arguments with your partner during this time, especially if you guys spend a lot of time together. Things that happen under Mars energy aren't long-term problems. So um, 
you know, you might even get the urge to like want to break up with your partner during, during this time. I wouldn't advise it under a Mars transit because you might regret it. In terms of business partnerships, it's kind of the same situation, like small arguments about small things. Um, make sure a lot of that will be miscommunication. Gemini rules communication um, and Mars will be in Gemini. So, um, you know, just again, think before you speak during this time period, read things carefully, right? So that you're not ending up arguing over an email that really shouldn't have been an argument. You just didn't read the email correctly. Capricorn Risings, this Mars and Gemini transit will be going through your sixth house. Sixth house rules health, work, work environment, everyday tasks, and habits. So with, Gem with uh, Gemini in the sixth house, I cannot imagine that you have too much of a set daily routine. Gemini likes, you know, very tasks. They, they, they don't like to do the same thing over and over again. Um, with But with Mars there, sticking to a routine is even more difficult. Also, things will probably more be, be more fast paced at work, especially if you work in customer service um, or you are in a line of work that where you're having to do a lot of communicating with other people. Um, so call center, things like that. Um, I mentioned publishing earlier. This applies to you as well. Um, so career paths like that, expect for things to get very fast paced. It might be more difficult to get time off during this time because you might feel like something is always due. Aquarius Risings, this Mars and Gemini transit will be happening in your fifth house. What a fun transit. Fifth house deals with dating and uh, projects that, you know, we start ourselves, things that we do for fun. Um, so you might experience, you know, more of a dating life during this time. You might be going on more dates. Make sure you're using protection because like, again, this Mars influence, you just, you just want to be sure Mars makes us, uh, make decisions impulsively. And you don't want one of those impulsive decisions to be not having safe sex. Aquarius risings. If you've had a project that you've been dragging your feet on, like you've been thinking about it and like planning for it and blah, 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 blah. This Mars transit transit should really help you get things going like get the ball moving um, I would try to do get as much done pertaining the, to this project as you can during this transit and again it's a long transit like it won't be over with until the end of March of next year and last but not least we have Pisces rising so this Mars and Gemini transit will be going through your fourth house that is the house of your home life your actual home your family attention might you might experience tension with your family during this time or tension in the home this might be a time period where you might need repairs for the home they should be minor if you have a roommate and the roommate is relatively new or the roommate just moved in there might be a little bit of tension there um if a roommate is moving in during this time period, I would suggest being intentional about setting aside some time to have a conversation about, you know, how you both like things done, right? You know what I mean? Like, I think a lot of the times when you have a roommate, a lot of issues can be avoided if you guys talk about things up front. Okay, guys, that was my quick rundown of how this Mars and Gemini transit will affect each rising sign. I hope it was helpful. Let's move on to the Q&A. So keeping up with today's theme, I guess we'll call it a rising signs. Today's question asks, what even is a rising sign? So the rising sign is the sign that was rising on the Eastern hemisphere on the day that you were born. So for those of you who don't know, your birth chart is basically a snapshot of the sky the day you were born from your perspective. So each sign is represented by a constellation in the sky. It has its own section in your birth chart and your rising sign, it changes or not your rising sign, but the rising sign like in the sky changes every two hours because the constellations are moving and that's because the earth is moving. Um, so yes, that <laughs> essentially that is what your rising sign is. One of my greatest tips for understanding astrology better just as a whole is to familiarize yourself with NASA's website because in order to fully understand astrology, you have to have some degree of understanding of astronomy and it really helps things click and make sense. 
So I hope that was helpful. If you ever have questions for me, you can just throw them in the comments. You can send me a DM. You can use the Q&A feature on TikTok and they might end up on one of my videos. Okay guys, that is all I have for you today. I hope this was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you think you're gonna like this channel, go ahead and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.